Hey YouTube, Murray Mayhem here. Man, pretty day, pretty day, Saturday. Whew, already been out. We picked cucumbers, already done a little bit in the garden. About to cut the grass again. And look what we got. This is not mine. Um, this is my neighbor's who uh, brought it over. Uh, he's trying to fix it up for his son it's having some problems cranking and staying running so we're going to check the carburetor check the uh, carburetor make sure it's all in good adjustment he says it will crank occasion lowly uh, gonna check the battery that's why we got that one charging right there and then of course we got a freaking flat tire so I swore I wouldn't work on them anymore because I just don't have the time for people and here we go more to come now the, my neighbors had this for about eight years and then gave it to his uh, son and bought uh, the big uh, I think the Cub Cadet tank the, the big one um, he's my next door neighbor the only one I have that lives uh, way down there and he's a good guy so I don't mind doing this stuff for him but his son has recently uh, got into a really bad car wreck and crushed his pelvis and everything and he's recovering now he can get around using a walker and this had been sitting out behind their uh, garage for a while uh, the sun so we're just gonna go through it and look at it I think I told him I would go ahead and drain all the uh, all the fuel out because it had sat for a while it's pretty much just one of those mowers that's been sitting in the weeds for a year or two I think he's been in uh, recovery for about a year so more to come guys okay guys now we're back and I went ahead and checked the fuel pump you know this is one of the vacuum assisted and it's pumping fine the fuel in there he had thought that it might be old bumped it over it cranks it's a little slow to crank but that's okay we've got the other battery over there on the charger we can swap out if we need to and so I went ahead and pulled the uh, I don't know what this is air box air cleaner cover I don't know really what you would call that but and now we get down to the meat of it uh, the good stuff uh, and I'm going to show you something that is just kind of hanging out right here on this butterfly you see that right there water so we are going to have to drain the fuel tank and get it cleaned out we are going to have to take this bowl out or take everything apart and clean this carburetor now the only thing is i know nothing about these other than the basic mechanics of how they operate so what i always do when i'm working on something let me find my finger take pictures with my cell phone and back years ago I used to have a Polaroid camera that I'd keep in my shop when I worked on cars for just this stuff take pictures where they go in the holes in relation uh, to where they go on their ends so it'll all go back together because that's the kick in the butt he said he took some of this apart and I'm like oh my god please don't do that crap to me but we're going to go ahead and pull it apart I have the uh, uh, fuel solenoid right there uh, disconnected and slide off now this uh, cover box uh, was held on here by two 10 millimeter bolts and they are right there so we're keeping up with all our old stuff that were 10 millimeters came off really easy once I figured out uh, what size they were so now I'm gonna pull this guy off and uh, start cleaning the carburetor and draining fuel more kind okay guys we're draining that fuel out and you can see it has that green tinge to it that has the uh, stay bill in it but it also has that kind of yellow varnish look it doesn't look like good fresh orangey you know gas um, so and it does stink so we're going to drain all that crap out <sighs> watching that though now I got to go pee more to come. 
Okay guys, we're going to disconnect this ground. And then that should give us enough room to slide this carburetor out. I'm curious to see what this bowl is going to look like. We might actually be able to uh, crank up the ultrasonic cleaner. Now, should be able to slide this off and then unhook it. I seem to recall that's how it works on the vanguards and some of the others. So, more to come. Okay. Turns out it doesn't slide off all the way. <clears throat> Take the studs out. Short set of threads go towards the block. There we go. Now we're going to mind all of our springs and get everything disconnected as safely as we can. There's that bottom one, or the top one, rather. Set it right over here. And then this guy. There we go. And we did not stretch our spring. Good, good, good. Now, more to come, guys. Now, I want to show you something. This is the uh, fuel solenoid, and we're testing it on a battery. And you see me moving it? And I'll show you how I'm testing it. So the plunger is working. What had happened, there was so much varnish in this bowl that it would not release. And this one is one that pushes down when current is applied to it and then the fuel flows into the carburetor and when you turn the switch off it goes like that it was stuck in that position now I'm gonna back us out here 12 volt battery that I was charging I did disconnect it so we know more than likely what was causing that problem is that varnish that had accumulated and hardened on this thing now we'll go one step further if the fuel has hardened in there we're going to go ahead and clean that carburetor anyway because it just makes good sense so more to come okay guys now we're moving right along I'm going to go ahead and clean this gas tank out and by cleaning it out what I mean is we're going to remove all the water so we've added a pint Of rubbing alcohol and what that's going to do is that will uh, mix with the water that's in the tank and you can see it's starting to already kind of run out now then we're going to pour some fresh gas in on top of it <clears throat> flush that out and then we will add new gas when the time is uh, when we get everything to go back together and, and look at this telltale sign here oh I'm still having problems aiming this thing there you go that water droplet right there so more to come guys okay guys now we're back and I've got this dude to where it will crank and run but you have to, uh, you got to prime it with gas, with fuel. So I, I called him and talked to him. He's my neighbor. And I'm getting ready to go out of town uh, for four or five days. And, and he was trying to get it back quickly. Uh, that battery is still charging. And so I told him I was about at a point where I could do about all I could do. And I didn't really like leaving this thing here with me gone uh, for the next four or five days so he's going to take it and uh, drop it off at his shop and I'll, I'll, I'll be damned there's Murray 
pain in the butt. And uh, he let himself out the gate. And he's going to go ahead and get it uh, uh, fine-tuned and everything. But we got it going. No charge for him or everything. He's my neighbor. He cuts my grass when I'm gone. And there's that damn pain in the ass dog. Look. 170 pounds of misery. Good dog. He's a good dog. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for subscribing. I really appreciate it. And we are getting ready to go inside and do some dill pickles. Been working on that. I've got so much to do before I go out of town. It's the way it is. And uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Here, I'll wave to you. Y'all go make some mayhem.